We're right here. Back at the Frozen Four at Amelie Arena in Tampa. It is the off day. Practices are closed. A lot of uh, a lot of top secret stuff going on. <laughs> Happy to be joined by Robert Morris, Coach Derek Schooley. Derek, a uh, couple of pretty good games yesterday. I think the the best team probably won both. What, what did you see? I thought it, they were carbon copy games. Actually, I thought it should have been once very early. It should have been probably about four to one each team. Yep. And then all of a sudden the game kind of flipped a little bit. We had some pushback. We got the games tied, and at the end, the best teams kind of pulled away in the third period, and that's why you got the number one and two teams in the nation right now. I had an interesting talk with Ben Gordon, Gophers assistant coach, that second period when BU was making a push. They tied the game, the shots were nine to one for the Terriers at one point in the second period, and he said, you know, you just gotta remind the guys, this is how it goes. They know this stuff, but even at this time of year, you're, you're still reminding them, you know, ebbs and flows and keep calm and do what you do. Yeah, and you got the whole time you're, you get a lead, then you gotta keep reminding them, put pucks below the goal line, make them come 200 feet, stay above the puck, reload. I mean, just little things. You got buzz, buzzwords that you got to use, and yep. you continue to do it, and, and that's how you end up uh, in the national championship game. Michigan, all that firepower. You know, we talked about whether their kind of shortcomings on the defensive side would cost them, and it wound up that being the case last night. Yeah, they were they were trading chances, and I, it, I thought the first period in that game, they really, I mean, they they were down two one, but they had to like where the game was going because of the back and forth and. It looked like they were going to try to outscore. My prediction was going to be was a 6-3 game, and I pred predicted Michigan to win because I thought that they'd get caught in that track meet. The second period, you come out of it, and Quinnipiac is at 2-2, but they were really playing well. They were yep. playing their game. They started limiting chances. The game started being tighter, and I, I said this uh, on, on the USCHO live, uh, tweet. I said, I think they have to like how they played, yep. but they gave up a goal. And sometimes you got to look at the how you're playing and then just put it behind you and go, I'll win a period. It so, was win a period, both teams win a period to go to the national championship game. Talking with Derek Schooley, the head coach at Robert Morris University. You, you know, we've talked on our podcast, you've been through the, the gamut of everything in about the last four years. Just, you know, kind of the, the second chance for your program. How are things going and how good did it feel to just kind of be back on the ice this year? Well, I mean, we had six guys on campus, and we had combination practices, the men and the women. Uh, so we had 12. We had one goalie. And uh, so we really we really want to do a lot of skill development and, and weights and use it as a developmental year for those players. But we spent a lot of time, Matt Nicholson and myself, uh, Matt was with me from 09 to 15. It's good to have him back as my uh, associate head coach because he that's what he was when he left so yep. i couldn't bring him back as an assistant uh, but he's done he's done a really good job in recruiting he puts me in in front of the right people uh, we feel we've got a good freshman class of about 12 and then we're we've been in, act, very active in the transfer portal we've got uh, eight players right now and we probably need two more forwards and a, and a third goalie and you're going to see the first colonial team come together is it, uh, you know, I, I would imagine the transfer portal is a big tool for programs like yours, especially when you're looking to kind of rebuild the roster. Yeah, we've got, and, but we've got a different scenario right now where we, we have lots of opportunities. Sure. And usually people in the transfer portal are, are leaving for one reason or another. And sometimes it's the, their choosing, sometimes it's the, the staff's choosing, but they're looking for a second chance. And we've got a second chance. And we've got a lot of opportunities for people to go in and play. Um, you know, we... Jokingly, on the first day, the transfer portal put a help wanted tweet out, and uh, it had over 100,000 views. And I, actually, I saw that. That was fantastic. I actually even then got some people that uh, emails from players that said, hey, I saw your ad. Uh, I'm ready to apply. So um, we had to be very active in that, and um, we're not done yet, but we've, we're very close to having our first full roster. So I've followed this Minnesota team all year. You know, I was really impressed by Quinnipiac. I did note this. My friend Dave Ellis at Michigan State pointed out, first time since 2017 and only the fourth time in the last 40 years that the top two teams in the pairwise are going to meet in the national championship game. This really should be a good game, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody was had their uh, Big Ten glasses on and were expecting a Michigan uh, Minnesota final. I confess. Yeah, and yep. I, yep. I, 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 pick, I wanted to pick Quinnipiac because my old assistant, Mike Corbett, is their assistant coach. Yep. Um, I said on uh, the USCHO Live, after you made your prediction, I went Minnesota Michigan final, and I said, but my heart says Quinnipiac because of Corps. Sure. But that being said, um, you brought the firepower here. We had the one, two, three, and five. 
and why not have the number one team versus the number two team in the nation right now and be ready to go. Absolutely. All right. Lots of fun here in Tampa. You know, I, I know you've got a pool calling your name or something yep, like that. I, that's, you know what? It's, you can't come to Tampa and not go to the pool. Absolutely. So today's a pool day. Just um, one word of advice, sunscreen. That's all I'm going to say. Well, you've, your complexion, I, yes, you yeah, definitely yeah, need yeah, okay, it. I just, yeah. I'm, yeah, you're fair. <laughs> All right. Robert Morris, Coach Derek Scooley. We're at the Frozen Four in Tampa. Jess Myers on the Rink Live. Lots more on the rinklive.com, and we will have more content from here in Tampa and see you at the rink. It is so